Alex Segura. I'm coming from Barcelona, Spain, and I'm a floral designer. Oh, yes. So when did you start? Long time ago. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, no, around um, 25 years ago. So Even more, may maybe. Oh, yeah. do you have any family in your... No, no, it's totally vocational. <gasps> yes. How can you start? Motivation? Uh, Actually, I started uh, when I was uh, a teenager, making Christmas decoration at home, and I used to spend all my saving making the Christmas decoration. And one day, I told, I can remember, telling to my mom, "Mom, I would like working doing this." And her answer was at the time, "Well, I'm okay, but try to find." another profession that you can work all year long and not only for Christmas. And then I think this was the first time I was uh, conscious that I wanted to be a florist. Ah, wow. This is very mm, wrong story. So now mommy is happy? From yes, 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 oh, yes. Oh, oh, oh. Yeah, because of course she didn't, at that time he didn't know it, that uh, people that used to make Christmas decorations I call it florist, mm. and florist is a profession that you can learn and you can uh, work uh, as a florist. So, uh, okay. So, yes. how about these days? Well, these days, uh, after being a regular florist, uh, working in a, in several flower shops, uh, then I, I was teaching for 15 years in a flower school. And a few years ago, I had to quit it, and I have to start again. And now I'm working as a freelancer, uh, teaching as well, making seminars, making demonstrations. Uh, also, I'm a floral judge, so also I'm attending uh, competitions as a jury. And this is what I do, actually, walking around the world, sharing my point of view yeah. and uh, trying to share all my knowledge with uh, the rest. Yeah, so please uh, introduce your the Spanish the floor culture. Well... Personal opinion. Yeah, this, this is my opinion. Yeah. I mean, uh, I think that um, because in the past there were no floral uh, schools in Spain, so uh, most of the floors were self uh, self um, same tree yeah so level was not so high but now we have a lot of uh, different flower schools so level is very high mm -hmm. it's higher mm -hmm. and also because we are living in a global uh, world with all the social media and we have connection and we have information from all around the world mm -hmm. I think that uh, we have a good uh, Florist level. Uh, so normally in the daily life, they are easy to buy the flowers. Yes. Normally. Yes. Yes. There, of course, it has nothing to do what you can see in a magazine or maybe in a demonstration that the daily business they make. But um, yeah, normally people buy flowers for special occasions like uh, birthdays, uh, when uh, uh, so Valentine's Day. Yeah, Valentine's yeah. Day. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay, I see. So, do you have any the hobby without flowers? Yes, of course. Mm -hmm. I mean, I love flowers, but I need something else in my life. Uh, I really like to dance, Ooh. and I really like to go to the cinema and to uh, uh, visit exhibitions, uh, and especially cinema. It's my one of my favorite uh, hobby. Oh, oh, okay. Do you have any person to respect the teachers or artists in this? For me, when yeah. I was uh, at the floral school as a student, there was one person that for me was very, very important, and he is still a very important person to me. And he's Gregor Lerch. I mean, he for me was the first uh, floral designer that I met. Uh, that opened my mind to understand that being a florist is more than work in a flower shop. And he was the first person who uh, 
show me that there are more big words than yes. another story. Ah, okay, I see. So, do you have another people? Ah, this is my the Alex very yes. strong part. What is that? Different from Alex. I mean, this is something that I cannot say. I, I think I cannot say by myself uh, because it's something that people has to say to to you. So I was asking several times to the people what do you like the most about my arrangement mm -hmm. and normally the most uh, common answer mm -hmm. is color combination uh, textures and details details about uh, the, work. the work and the techniques ah yeah i agree with you yeah <laughs> thank and, you yeah and then do you have any advice to the young floor designer Yes. Young Floris. Uh -huh. uh, keep, keep your eyes open, keep your mind open, and keep your updates about what is happening not only in the floral industry, but what is happening in fashion, what is happening in uh, art, what is happening in the interior designer. I mean, we are not al alone in this world, and we are part of a uh, of, uh, big machine we are a small piece in a big machine so we have to fit in this big machine so we have to keep ourselves update what is happening around us do you have a did you have a slump 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 what do you mean uh, there's very hard time oh yes yes yeah please tell me what is that and how to recover that okay well I have. I think this is this is not a, a, an easy question because um, for me I have not a clue uh, to everybody. But um, yeah, for me, when I'm having this kind of periods, um, normally what I do is to meet my friends and talk to them and ask for advice and yeah this is normally what I do uh, uh, uh. I cannot give you a tool yeah, yeah, and, yeah. Uh, because uh, I think it's very personal and it depends on a lot of things yeah. mm -hmm. so what is your happy time in your life very many but with flowers most happy time you know for me the most uh, happy uh, moments are when you are finishing one arrangement one design and it's, it looks exactly how, I, I was, how it was in my mind before yeah, I yeah, start working. Yeah, yeah. And this is the most uh, happy thing. Happy. When, uh, when I'm, I feel myself, okay, this is what I was looking for, uh -huh. and I was able to do it. Ah, okay. So, so what is your favorite flowers and favorite colors? Well, I can say that uh, really I don't have a favorite uh, flower. But for me, because I'm coming from Spain and we have a very hot weather, there is a flower that is very convenient for Spanish uh, florists to work with. Mm -hmm. And this is carnation. 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 Mm -hmm. And the good thing for carnation is that uh, we have a wild range of varieties uh -huh. about color uh -huh. and also about size and uh -huh. about everything. And it's a very good lasting with our weather. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. it's a... Uh, this is maybe one of the, my favorite uh, flowers. And also in Spain, carnation has been always very popular, uh -uh, but in a, not in a very good way. Yeah. So for me, to try to, to do um, special designs with this kind of flower, uh -huh. it's special because normally people think that with carnations you can only do yeah. ugly arrangements. Yeah, 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 so yeah. when you are doing something new and something special with carnations, uh -huh. for me it, it has an extra value. Oh yeah, oh, this is a very good answer. So <laughs> what do you do? The, uh, the, what do you think about the flower design? What is that? What is the flower design? So before, yes. Frederick asked me the innovation. Yes. Yeah. What do you think about that? Flower design? Well, I mean, for me, uh, a floral design is a combination of uh, different things. One thing is technique, 
Uh, one thing is the um, uh, fashion. It has to be in fashion. It has to be. Uh, it has to uh, have uh, a good technique, and it has to be something new. Yeah. But what it means new now? It's very difficult. I yeah. mean, because we have a lot of information, we are all connected. Yeah. So it's not really a new thing, mm. but maybe uh, to get a different point of view, to try to make a different combination of different things in another way, this is maybe new. Uh, okay. And then? The normal the floral designer doesn't the concern about the competition. Yes. The small or big. But competition is very important because yep. uh, competitor show new skill. Yes. And new the kind of the techniques. Yes. And then after a few years later, many people follow. Yes. But the normal people doesn't like the competition. But please uh, tell us what is the competition and good what is yeah. good for yeah. Well, my relationships with uh, competition is uh, it has both sides. I hate to be a competitor. I don't like it at all. But at the same time, I really like competitions because I've been helping a lot of competitors. And to develop one idea, to develop a new skill, to de develop a new technique, uh, that's normally what you do when you are uh, doing a competition. For me, it's a, one of the best experiences that you can have to learn. So, I don't like to be a competitor, but I like normally to be the helper, to be in the team, to help to develop the techniques and the everything. So, normally you, don't, you won't see me competing, but normally I'm in the backside helping com competitors and really this I love it. Okay, uh, this is my last question. This year is our Delhi Magazine 10th anniversary. Oh. Yeah, so please congratulate speech. Yes, of course. Happy, happy 10th anniversary to uh, Leaf Magazine. It's the best. And yeah, so many, many years more doing great job as you are doing now. Thank you. You're welcome.